This recipe only takes about 30 minutes. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back. Today I'm making Tuscan salmon recipe. This recipe is extremely easy. Can't wait to show you guys how it's done. Before I begin, please be sure to like if you enjoyed today's recipe. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and let's jump right in to the recipe. Everything that I use in today's recipe will be listed down below. I'm using frozen spinach, however, you can use fresh spinach. Allow the frozen spinach to thaw out, then squeeze out the water. I'm using sun-dried tomatoes as well with red onion and some Parmesan. Also, we cannot forget the cream cheese. Then we're going to mix that all together. Now, I have these seasoning right here. I have Italian seasoning, complete seasoning garlic powder as well as some paprika we're going to mix that together just like so add some more cream cheese obviously we needed more and then we are going to stuff the salmon This is the salmon filet we'll be using. On the side of the salmon, you'll just use your knife to form like a pocket. Just slice it right in the middle. And that's where we're going to um, stuff the salmon. Now I'm going to grab a spoon and stuff the salmon with the mixture. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other salmon filet. Just stuff that with the spinach mixture. Okay guys, we have to season the salmon as well. So I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on the salmon, just rub that in. And these are the seasoning we'll be using to season the salmon, some onion and garlic powder, some paprika, as well as some um, Cajun seasoning with some ground black pepper. Just sprinkle the seasoning on the salmon, rub that in as well, and don't forget the back as well so flip it over and rub the seasoning in too and then we'll bake the salmon Now grab your baking dish and just make sure you add some oil at the bottom so it doesn't stick obviously. And then place it to a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or 25, depends on how thick your salmon is. To a medium high heat skillet, I am going to add one tablespoon of butter. Allow that to melt. Then I am going in with some um, garlic puree. Um, I'm going to cook that until fragrance, and then I'm going to cook the seasoning. Yes, you heard me. I'm going to um, add the seasoning in and just fry the seasoning for about 30 seconds just to bring out the flavor. 
and then we are going to pour some heavy cream in there okay this is a creamy sauce so yeah and also i am going to be adding some parmesan cheese in there as well um if you want you can place your salmon in there or you can just pour the sauce over the salmon it doesn't matter whatever you choose to do it'll taste just as great okay so i'm going to give that a stir allow it to simmer for about two minutes and basically the sauce is ready this is how the salmon looks once it's done baking how beautiful right it's looking gorgeous now i'm going to plate it for you guys just pour the sauce all over the salmon like i said you can place the salmon in the sauce or you can pour it over whichever you want okay and you guys this is the result of our tuscan stuff salmon let me know down below if you're going to try this recipe it was really quick it was super tasty um the salmon was so flaky as you can see it was so flaky perfectly cooked okay try this out 10 out of 10 you have to try it okay thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next recipe bye guys